And this is the head of school, Amy Richards. What do you think the true significance of this kind of project is for Crystal Springs and for China, indeed? Oh, certainly for China, um, the uh, raising the awareness of um, environmental risk and environmental hazards, short term and long term. Uh, I don't think one can overstate that impact. And for Crystal, the opportunity to build bridges of this sort are uh, means for broadening, broadening our students' perspectives and helping them understand and see and experience the world beyond our little enclave. Okay. And I didn't introduce Christy Dillon, who's the head of the upper school. Right. Grants and other opportunities. Andrew Leonard applied to the Disney Corporation for an ecology and ecological mini grant to do a joint Liaqua style project between Crystal Springs and the Beijing School on Global Youth Service Day. This enormous international event had grown out of the informal Earth Day events, which Simon alerted us to last week. Major corporations in the U.S. Department of State now sponsor simultaneous ecological projects in over 100 countries around the world. Two prestigious Beijing schools buy for the honor of partnering with Crystal Springs and joining the West for the first time in Global Youth Services Day. And so, Though there were hundreds of applicants for each Disney grant, Andrew Leonard's fledgling organization, which is called Global Partners China USA, was the only one to win two. Andrew had brought Beijing on board. On this Global Youth Service Day, actually the weekend of April 20th through the 23rd, Crystal Springs School and its new Beijing Partner School will perform two ecological projects inspired by the Ross Cordero model. Disney has very generously provided money for tools, snacks, t-shirts in both countries. After the events, the students will post digital movies of their projects on, you guessed it, YouTube. Disney will then pay for the international celebration in which the CSUS 7th grade class who did the actual field work will eat pot stickers, and those in China will eat pizza. <laughs> Then students will swap emails congratulating each other and create a new partnership and a new friendship between the two countries. Everybody will be building a new way of thinking and a new way to face the global crisis we are all in. The Chinese kids and the Crystal kids will start thinking of themselves as partners. For the long run, that's the most important change we are making. And I would like to personally congratulate Andrew Leonard for this enormous achievement. showing me how cool ecology can be. I thank her for showing me how everything living was working together. And now her work and dedication will be inspiring kids in all places China. For years now she has planned park cleanups and helped eliminate invasive species, all while promoting ecology. Ms. Liaqua has opened a new perspective. I go to China every year to see family, and Beijing looked different to me. I was really concerned. The pollution is terrible. But people starved in China during the 1960s, so I don't really have the time or the money to spend on ecological issues like we do. And this con, like Mr. Richard said in one of the announcements, announced the uh, Disney grant system. I asked a childhood friend in Beijing if she would help me out, and well, she agreed. I won the first ever double grant and the first ever grant in China. This grant I speak of is for Glo uh, Global Youth Service Day, an event which is now being sponsored by groups like Disney, State Farm and the U.S. Department of State. For the very first time, China is sort of getting with the program, and that's pretty exciting. Because if 1.3 billion people don't start learning, about, start learning about ecology, it's all over for the planet. So I pretty much connected American grants with the world and the Chinese people. So next Monday, a week from today, on this Global Youth Service Day, Crystal Springs and its new Beijing Partner School will team up with the seventh grade class and do the Rastrogero model park cleanup, representing us 
like I said, seventh grade class. And Disney has very generously provided money for tools, snacks, t-shirts, and bug hunters. After the event, the kids will be uh, post their digital movie, movies on their projects onto YouTube, which is a very fun site, as we all know, we can watch videos of cats and at balls. Disney will then pay for the international celebration, in which CSU Saver for the class will be possible. And those in China will eat pizza, and pizza is a cuisine in China. There's an HD at pizza. Seventh grade will swap emails from graduating with each other and create a new partnership and a new friendship between two countries. Every way will be build, building a new way of thinking and a new way to face the global crisis that we are all in. So I thank the faculty, the administration, Ms. Richards, and especially Ms. Liago for helping me so much. Let's see, how do they look? Sorry. How do they awesome. fit? Very good? Good. Smiling. If your shirt seems Very a little good. small, come over, we'll give you a large <laughs> one. We're delighted to have you here, and we're really excited about your project that you're doing this as a partnership with a school in China. Yeah. One, two, three. So the reason we're pulling out these plants that don't belong here, these invasive plants that don't belong here, is because we want the native plants, the ones that do belong here, to reestablish themselves to come back. If they come back, they're the food chain is reestablished. We know that plants are the bottom of the food chain. If we establish the plants that belong here come back, then the animals that eat those plants will also come back. The bottom of every food chain is our plants, okay? Plants. If the wrong plants are here, then the food chain can't be built the way it's supposed to be built for this area. The bad plants come in. The bad, bad plants come in and they take up all the area, they take up all the nutrients, they take up all the water, they take up all the sunshine. Look how this core of this plant is just crowding it. So we have animals like this little ladybug that's desperately trying to get onto this grass. But look how this grass is getting crowded out of here. Now if we take this thing out, this piece of this grass, which is a native plant for this area, will have a better shot of making it. This plant's crowding out the light, it's crowding out the water. If we pull this plant out of here, which is what I'm going to do right now. Oh look, there's a spider in there too. All of these insects that live in these plants will come back. And if we get the insects back, what else will come back? The other animals, the birds, the reptiles, everything else. So what we have to do is we have to get rid of these things. These things nasty too. And if we can get rid of these things, be able to get this guy out with this tool. And it's a lot of work. How much? How much money would it cost for the city? to uh, hire people to do this kind of delicate work. Well, the last work. time we were out here, we worked for two hours, and they told us they saved the city $10,000. Wow. That's what that's what he told us the last time we were out here. I believe it. You, you so. can't do this in a rush. You have to do it with love.